Hey dudes, Silvite Soltis here, and I'm back again with another lesson of Dungeon Sets 101, a simplified guide for how you can get your class's dungeon set in World of Warcraft Classic. Today, we're moving on to the first of the two mail sets, the Beast Stalker Armor. So, check to make sure your pet is well fed and set to passive, because it's time to gear up your hunter. Beast Stalker Armor consists of eight items spread across four dungeons Stratholm Undead, Skull Immense, Upper Black Rock Spire, and Lower Black Rock Spire. And while it's not ideal to have to fully clear four dungeons, it is necessary. Here's a basic rundown of where the items are. Alright, now let's get right into how to track down each item, shall we? Let's start with Stratholm. The order of the dungeons doesn't really matter too much for collectors of the Beast Stalker armor, but since you can pick up three items here, and two of them are bind on pickup, it's a good place to start. The three items you can grab here are the Beast Stalker Bindings, the Beast Stalker's Boots, and the Beast Stalker's Pants, from Trash Mobs, Nerubenkan, and Baron Rivendare, respectively. First of all, keep an eye out for the Bracers, which drop from random ghouls as you go through the dungeon. They have a low drop chance, but they might drop. Next up is the Boots. After passing through the third gate of the undead side, the one that starts the infamous 45 minute barren run, turn left and clear the trash to the first ziggurat. Atop the stairs sits Nerub Enkan, the spider boss of the dungeon. He's a complete pushover. Just be mindful of any Eye of Naxxramas ghosts that might pop up nearby as you kill him, and hopefully you'll get the boots. Continue through the dungeon until you face the Baron himself. Now this boss drops the Beast Stalker's pants, along with all of the other dungeon set legs. So pray for luck as you shoot him from a distance. If possible, try to place a freezing trap, the one that slows enemies when they step over it, over by the healer so they can run away from the skeletons if they start getting attacked. And of course, help kill them from range if you can. All in all, it's an easy enough fight for DPS, so don't sweat it too much. If you're lucky, you can put on some new pants to go with your boots and brazers. Next up, head over to Lower Black Rock Spire to try to collect your belt, gloves, and mantle. You'll notice that two of these items are bind on equip, meaning that you might get lucky and only have to run this dungeon once. However, the shoulders are a drop from the final boss, meaning that if you aren't lucky, you can almost guarantee that you'll pick up these BOE items in a second, third, or fourth run. To start off, the belt is a drop from trash mobs throughout the dungeon. There's not much more to say about that. The gloves are a bit more specific though, only dropping from War Master Voon in the troll section of the dungeon. He doesn't do or drop much, and is a boss required for a few quests, so you'll probably knock him out anyway on your way to Wormthalak. If you're lucky, you'll save a few gold on your waste and hand slots. Okay, now for the big one, the shoulders. Work your way through the dungeon, making sure that your pet doesn't accidentally pull any random trash along the way. When you get to the Overlord of Wormthalak, note that he'll spawn ads that will come up from behind the group Help CC by placing a trap down before combat, and or kill them as necessary. But make sure you know which strategy your group will go with. Hopefully, you get lucky and get your mantle the first time around. If not, do it all again. Okay, almost there. Hopefully by now you're 6 out of 8 and only need the chest and the helm. Well, let's round it out with trips to UBRS and Skull Immense. As with all of the dungeon sets, these two items drop from the final bosses of these two dungeons, General Dracosath and Darkmaster Gandling. 
Both bosses are quite difficult, but Dracosath is definitely more interesting for hunters. So we'll start with that. To get the tunic, clear out the entire final area of UBRS. Basically all enemies after Rend Blackhand should be dead, so make sure you checked all the corners for assassins. When your group is ready to pull, it's your job as a hunter to start the encounter. From max distance, pull Dracosath with Distracting Shot and Arcane Shot. Then, kite him as far away as you can. There are two kiting paths you can take, depending on how good you are at kiting and how much trash you cleared. You can either take him up the stairs and back to Ren's Arena, assuming you clear out the trash overlooking it, or you could do the more common method by kiting him around the edges of the beast's room. It's up to you, really, but just make sure that you watch chat while kiting so that you know when to either run back with him, feign death, or if you're bad, just die. Your job is the most important one for this fight, so don't screw it up if you want to be allowed to roll on your chess piece. Alright, the final piece. Head over to Skullamance for a shot at your cap. Just like UBRS, this drops from the final boss of the dungeon, Darkmaster Gandling. However, for a hunter, there's a lot less to worry about. When you eventually clear the rest of the dungeon, just engage the boss, be mindful of the teleport, and let the arrows fly until he's dead. If you're lucky, you'll have a shiny new mask to show off to everyone. Thank you for taking the time to watch this guide, and good luck tracking down and collecting the full Beastalker set. As always, if you somehow miss out on the BOE items during the dungeon runs, pick them up from the auction house but don't feel obligated to get them until you're done collecting the BOP ones first. Either way, I hope that you can get them all soon. If you like this guide, let me know by leaving a comment down below and by subscribing to my channel. If you prefer written content, you can check out my blogs over on Blogspot, where I put all of these guides up in written form first, even before they're turned into videos here on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates, and consider supporting me over on Patreon if you're into that sort of thing. Thanks again for watching, have an awesome day, and as always, take it easy guys.